up everyone welcome to profit adda uh, today exactly i'm going to show you how you can exactly code uh, the simple moving average technical indicators and represent them in the chart and then exactly you can extract those values into the csv so it's a very much simple uh, code i'm going to do and i suggest before that uh, you should go and watch other videos so like i have done some extraction with the help of this uh, quandal okay so exactly you should watch this videos and then you can understand this better how exactly i'm going to doing okay so i just wanna go with this simple moving average so basically uh, as we get to know about that this simple uh, this is one of the concept of uh, moving average okay so uh in this it's a basic as we say uh is a building block of other technical indicators and it is uh, comes in uh, mainly in three forms like you know simple moving average exponential moving average and then weighted moving average okay and this uh, moving averages is like uh, uh you know if you consider in a week say in a days if you took some days say if you want to average those days uh so you can average with the help of how much exactly uh, you know days you have been took okay uh, you can divide by that so say example i just uh, you know try to make an understand in this my uh, you know post or say page so exactly what i has done is like i have been considered a seven days of a week in which i have done like you know five like you know took five days and exactly i have been divided with the help of a uh, five day simple moving average so exactly i get the value of 3 and then in the second if i'll go i i'll exactly considering this value uh in the second day of it but exactly i am removing the first day and and i am you know i ex exactly including another fresh day and exactly i am dividing with a uh, same simple moving average with the help of uh you know five day moving average okay so i'm considering here and uh, you can consider in finite sequence of numbers exactly and can calculate uh, those moving averages uh, basically these averages can be considered like five days 15 days 20 days and 200 days moving averages most of the time okay and it's a very much uh, as i say it's a very much responsive and impulsive filters like uh, basically we can't say that we can predict with the help of this uh, you know simple moving averages to stock prices but we can uh, usually with the help of this we can build other technical indicators and we can uh, you know have those prices uh, so we exactly you know without the noise we can get a clear picture of those uh, averages we can include this and uh, basically we can uh, you know use this stuff for further technical indicators including wherever we require the averages okay so here i am done explanation now i am going to uh, you know show you exactly how you can uh, do all those stuff uh, say how you can uh, print visualize and then uh, you know save those to csv files uh and can have it for further analysis so example moving average in a simple code so i will just say import pandas as a pd for you know to read those data and for rolling and for series set of frames of data for data frame i require this then exactly i need mat plot lib for uh, graph for graph purposes and then next what i need is a quandal for set of data okay so import i am done i need a api key uh, which i have saved uh in this one which i have to open and read that one so it is ad.txt uh, okay let me check uh, what i really say in the name of 
80.txt okay so and then I need to read this one because this is a main part I really required uh, these things to import uh, say those datas which I require to uh, read and plot the graph so here uh, I am done and then next uh, what I really uh, need is uh, have to define the simple moving average so I will say simple moving average take any and this so simple moving average is uh, very much easy it's a it's a like very much easy we are considering this uh, you know close value uh, in, in this data we are considering this close and exactly we are dividing this number of de uh, days which are required for the moving average we really require want to consider those okay so I will say simple moving average equals and what I need is uh, in series I should be in rolling say I will say rolling underscore mean and rolling mean and uh, the stuff I required for this for consideration which is uh, I need close price and I need yeah, number of days done and then uh, I need a name for further consideration ok so I am done here and then uh, I really require those datas uh, for you know should be perform uh, perform of operation so I will say data dot join simple moving average and then I will say please return those data so here I am done I just defined the simple moving average then I require those data so I will say data equals quandal dot get and uh, here I am considering this uh, what I say the you know symbol symbol those symbol values so exactly I have been required those uh, you know I have been basically considering this gold prices say as well so uh, if you can get through Quandle you from if you type it in mcx gold uh, you exactly can get this so exactly I am just extracting this sum of uh, uh, mcx gold uh, prices which I really need which I really need so I just uh, you know uh, need this symbols for that and I will specify that start date which is of I need in 2016 it is from 2016 itself and uh, so I just considered this one and then I will what is the end date so I will consider of today's date it doesn't matter it will really uh, you know come out whatever there it is there and some datas are uh, you know as I say you should uh, you know it's not proper so you should actually uh, you know extract those things and you should you know start realizing them what is uh, really uh, it is there or you know which is good to be considered or not okay so I realize this data so I'm just giving you a demo purposes as I get to know some prices are not uh, you know readily avail available in this uh, you know CSV files so this this is just for demo purposes you just realize those data and try to extract with the quantile you know so here I am done and then I need to consider this data in data frame which is of data okay this is here done and then how many days I required so I just take 5 days of simple moving uh, average I really required and then exactly uh, I just uh, you know print those data so I need to define uh, those simple moving average okay for the end of data whichever I required so this is like a user defined you can give it like 5, 15, 20 whatever you need to you know for the moving average you required for it 
for your analysis purpose and then I say for the simple moving average of gold I required then I will you know define whatever I did in the past of uh, simple moving average data and then next uh, what I need is uh, my uh, SMA should be in a set of uh, what say data frame that should be callable and so I will say SMG and I am done here uh, and then just check with it whether uh, it is perfect or not say I will call the print function and save it and run it let's see okay what I am I have done some mistake here mm. let's check it out rolling to consider this one what I really doing mistake here okay I have done some printing mistake here so no no printing mistake underscore me comma name SMG sorry this is SMA in a quote okay so that's it run yeah so exactly I am getting this uh, values of this one a uh, simple moving average so you know what I you know I really required this kinds of data okay so exactly I am getting here uh, in, a, in such things uh, as you know this data uh, you know from this from some values the data are not available in clear form say open eyes and it is showing in a zero so you should uh, you know extract those data whichever you know perfect should analyze that one so it's uh, you know better you should analyze first that one and then proceed so exactly uh, you know for those data which I am trying to extract uh, you know from those close values I really required so exactly uh, it is very much present of those data is really uh, uh, readily available with so you now I really need to consider those values so exactly I am considering this value so I just show you in this uh, one of my calculator um, what I really doing here okay so I am considering this uh, you know as I say 3 2 8 9 2 plus 3 2 9 0 7 plus 3 2 9 8 3 plus 3 2 9 4 3 plus 3 2 7 3 0 okay so these are the my five values which I need uh, average price of it so exactly I got and I divide those with the help of 5 and this will be my moving average so whatever the first I would if you get 32,891 so it is of uh, my perfect value of those moving averages so let's proceed yes 3 to 8, 9, 1. so I am getting the perfect values and I am calculating those values in perfect ok so it's done and next what I need is to uh, you know uh, what I say is like I want to really uh, plot those graph okay so what I uh, really want to uh, say here is uh, smg dot plot and please uh, so those data okay so exactly um, now you uh, you know visualize those data so as you can see this is in green is of low value which are which is of not proper 
okay and only we can get about here picture is about close which is in red and then simple moving averages so as you can see it is like you know pretty much very much close to the uh, you know uh, very close to the close price of its uh, in this uh, sectors okay so as you and in, in this green data as also we can see that is a low is also readily available with it so from this we can exactly uh, visualize this stuff okay and next what I want is um, I just check with once this more working or not okay so exactly uh, you know if you remove this one it will not gonna work uh, for uh, plot this one and then next what I want is uh, I really want to save uh, those CSV for technical indicators value uh, into my CSV okay so I will say CMG uh, and those CSV value what I really need it should be in SMG dot CSV okay so I need really this price in Excel format that is a comma separated value so I can do this stuff and I will save this and I exactly will run this okay so if it show me like this you know required so exactly uh, dot you know you know PLT is there so you what I tried to when I trying to plot this one I'm not able to get the CSV values so I just comment it out all, uh, or I will remove it and exactly after doing that I am ready and get those CSV values so as you can see 32891 symbol moving average in CSV files ok guys I will point it up here thank you for watching please do like share and subscribe and if you have any doubt regarding this please feel free to comment and uh, uh, yeah thanks